let us continue with our lesson and in this lesson let's go and see about the retrofit error handling to how to handle uh, gracefully the retrofit error the error which means that the response error that we are particularly receiving in this example if you see over here we are sending a request to a server to log in and when it responds we are just checking for the error uh, code of 200 which means it was successful but let's say the server returns a code of a 400 or maybe a 500 or 401 so we are not actually checking all of that we are just say, saying that the success was false but why it was unsuccessful we don't know yet so if you want to show a user a particular specific error code and the result that the server sent like let's say unauthorized access or there was a server could not be reached or the server responded that a bad request or invalid request so we want to be more specific to a particular user that the the user that's sending a request has some specific error instead of just giving a generic error so to be more specific let's go and see how we can accomplish in our retrofit so let's say i want to show you the status code and uh, let me just try and show you this particular website developer.mozilla.org you can see there they have a lot of uh, status code or else you can just go and google search for the http response code so here you can see that the particular 100 means that's one and the 101 right 200 which means uh, the request for success 201 which was created and 202 so there are a lot of all of these things right you can see redirection message client error message 40 400 and 401 so all of these there are some different kind of uh, response code that we need to actually go and handle so there are a lot of all of this so you can just go through and uh, check for all of the response code that we are getting but for particularly for our uh, our app over here where uh, we are checking 200 and uh, let's go and check for the other response that we are uh, receiving so for now let me try to run the app in the debug mode and let me try to put a breakpoint uh, somewhere over here and uh, let, let us try to debug and see what actually we are receiving from a server if we try to send a wrong login details so let me try to open the application and uh, let's wait for the application to up and let me try to log in with the wrong user and the wrong username and gmail.com and the password one two three four five six seven eight let's, let me try to log in and i'm over here and let me try to debug and if you see the code over here this is the code that we are receiving in the result we are getting a error body and in the raw response you can see that the message was unauthorized and the code was 400 so we need to handle all of this but here currently we are not handling we are just giving a generic message and if you try to run this uh, you will see that we get, get a generic message sorry something went wrong so that may be not specific that what went wrong but we want to show a user that the, your login detail was not correct so what i will do is i will go over in the util section and create a new package over here and i will call it as a network and inside this network i will just drag this section over here right just me drag and i will create a new kotlin data class over here the class and i'll just call it as a network error so let's call it as a network error and let me add it to the git and this should be of a data class and when we have a data class we need to have some parameter so i'll just say our val okay so let me just say our val of our status code so let's say we have a status code and which is of our integer data type and also we have a val message which is of a string data type so it should be of a string data type and let us also add a serialization and serialized name and the serialized name let us give a 
names of the status code. Let's copy and paste over here. And for this message, let's put a serialized name. And uh, let me give a name of a message. And also let us make a default value for this one. So default value, let's give a minus one. And for this message, uh, let's give some default message. So let's say the error was uh, the message was empty or the status code was empty. So we set the default value for that one. So I can just say something, sorry, when something went wrong, sorry, wrong, something went wrong. And uh, please, sorry, please, please try again. Right? That's the general message that we want to see, give a default message. So we have a one network error data class. And uh, what we'll do is we will open our network helper and let us write one more method over here, which will we will be handling our error. So over here, I can just say, let me give a function and create a function and let's say, and the handle network, handle a network error. And it is a a network error. And this we should pass a we should pass pass a parameter over here. Let's say of our and response. And this is of our response. R E S P O N S response from the retrofit. Right? So and uh, we will pass over here uh, let's say star, which means any 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 response that we are passing over here. And let us Respond or let us let us return a value of a network error. So we will return this network error, and I will say our return type is of a network error. So let's go and handle the error. So first of all, I create a variable of the error, and this error is we can say response. Sorry. Error is of equals to response, right? Response dot error body. We are interested in error body dot string. So let's get the string out of it. And this is a generic object, so we need to get as it as a string. So error body is a generic object that um, that it has in the response of HTTP or uh, retrofit so we are just extracting it up as a string over here and uh, i will just say a val and message message is equal to sorry not the fam that for that is the val now message is equals to i can make you so json parser so j so json parser right json parser and are the paths that what we want to pass we want to pass this one error. This is a JSON object. We want to pass it, right? And dot as the JSON object. JSON object. In the JSON object, we need to pass what we want to pass. What we want to pass. So it's particularly the error that we want to pass. So later I'll show you that where I get the error. And it's actually returning from this server. So later I'll show you. Make sure that we need to have this error, otherwise, it, if the it, if the message or error over here doesn't have this error object, then we will return a default message over here. And uh, finally, what we can do is we can return. We want to return our network error, right? And we have to pass the status code. So that should be for response response dot the code that we want to pass and the message that we want to pass is of message over here message and i can just set that dot to a string we have to pass a string okay so we are returning over here the network error object that has the response code as well as the message and let me put a breakpoint over here for now and later I'll, uh, we will debug it and let's go back over here and in the else part i will just say well i can just say error it is of equal so i can say our network helper right 
network helper dot uh, handle network error and I need to pass the response. So response is this data that we can pass over to this. So let me pass this data. Now we will have this particular error over here. And uh, let me try to uh, debug again. So let me try to put a breakpoint over here. And let me try to run our application in the debug mode. Sorry, in the debug mode. Let me try to log in. So I will give a wrong name, dem1 at uh, gmail.com. And let's keep a password. And let's try to log in. And uh, we are over here. Let's hit next. And uh, okay, so we get a response code of 401. And uh, let's go over here. And uh, let's go inside that particular over here. And we are sending, now uh, let's see the F8. And now we get the error. And the error is over here. So if we see over here, the response that we are getting, response uh, message over here, and the error body over here. So error body, we are extracting the particular content. Right, content uh, content type of JSON, and we are extracting this uh, message from here, actually from the error body. And in the error, you can see we have this error, right? So this is a JSON object. You can see error, and it says login. The message is a login field. Please check your login details. So we want to extract this particular error. That's why I have mentioned the JSON object as a error. And let's say if your JSON, the object over here is not error and maybe it's a message or something you are sending from back from the server. So make sure you have to add over that one of JSON object is that particularly what is the, the JSON object over here. So if it's error, that's because it's currently error. That's why I'm putting as an error over here. And let's say if you have written something like a JSON object like a message or something over here then our error message then we can we have to put the same thing over here so don't get confused over that what i'm actually trying to do so i'm passing the json object to this particular message and let's see the f8 now we can see we will extract that particular message right it's going to find out this particular message and now you can see that response over here and it will return on a uh, let me go over here. And now if you check this particular, this error, it says that the message is a login file. Please check your login details. So that's it. The, the thing that we want is already extracted as a login file. Please check your login details. So that's the correct message that we want to show to the user. And the status code 401, which means unauthorized access. So what I'll do is I'll just run it. And let me try to create a one one message over here and i'll just say our uh, val is i'll say er or error message which is of let's say a uh, string data type so i can just say a uh, mutable like data and this is of a uh, string data type and it's of equals to mutable like data so we have an error message over this one and now i can just say over here that error message dot post value i can say error dot the message that can i extract and in the login so let's go to the view and let's go to the ui and in the ui let me go to the auth and go to the login activity and uh, here unsuccessful so we are actually giving a generic message over here and I can remove this one and I can see that the view model dot the error message dot value we can get it from here dot to string sorry to string right so we are passing over here and let's try to run our application and let's see that we get a correct error message over there let me try to log in with a wrong name bm1 at uh, gmail.com Password one two three four five six seven eight and let's try to log in. Now let's let's see what is there. So you can see the unsuccessful and login failed. Please check your login detail. So that's the correct message that you want to show to the user. So I have shown you how to do that one, and I think you guys can implement it in your project. 
with all of other requirements. So make sure that the response that we are actually passing JSON object is a valid one. If it doesn't, then it will return a default error message, which is something went wrong. Please try again. And I think that's all for this lesson. And I uh, hope you learned something new over here. And now uh, let's meet up in the next lecture. Till then, have a great day.